Kentucky Eshin, Miss Helen, P51D, 500 millimeter wingspan, 2S brushless warbird. And they have all tuned out and have a fantastic blue prop on. I love it. All right, so let's see if we can. We got some strong winds out here today. It's supposed to be 10 to 14. Feels like it's every bit of 10, I would say. I wanted to see if I could take off from the ground. It should be a pretty short takeoff. Let me see if I can find a halfway decent non rutted out area here that we can take off from without busting anything. All right, let's see here. Make sure we got ignition. We have ignition. All right, let's see if we can take off in this wind on the ground. Oh, just barely. Just barely. See if we can attest and, uh, and approve this plane for strong winds. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I almost lost my head right there. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we've got a 10 mile an hour wind out here today. Looks like I have even more, more wind higher up. Oh yeah, look at that. directions a little bit. Check that out. Awesome in the wind. This is just an all round fantastic warbird. Man, I think with these with these five, I, you know, before they came out with this, I said, you know, I would really like to see some 600 to 650 millimeter wingspan brushless sub 250 gram planes. And I hope, I hope, you know, after they've come out with a complete line of these 500 millimeter wingspan planes. Oh, I lost it there in the sun. Wind's coming right out of the sun. Um, Maybe we'll maybe we'll get that too. Maybe after they complete Maybe after they complete their full line of these 500 millimeter warbirds, we'll see some 600s But these uh, but this 500 millimeter wingspan Plane, you know with the power system that they've got on it It's just awesome man it handles so well handles so well and this is the most wind I've been able to fly in so far and I've flown even the 400 millimeter wingspan micro warbirds I have flown in 15 15 to 20 miles per hour winds in manual mode now I've got it in stabilized mode right now but um, and they are a handful you know they're they're so small and so light and uh, they don't handle as well as this 500 millimeter wingspan warbird, but you can fly them. You can fly them in that much wind. You got to work the sticks like crazy, but you can do it. But this plane is just awesome. You know they they got you know for the size, the the weight of the plane, the wingspan span of the plane, the power system. They just did everything right. 
with this plane. I can't stop bragging on it. It is it is the best sub 250 gram warbird I've flown so far, and I've flown a lot of them. And it's pretty inexpensive, guys. Pretty inexpensive. I have links to it in the show notes. If you don't have one yet, pick one up and you will thank me for it. You will thank me for it. It's that good. Look, look how that handles though, even in the wind. Look at that. That is fantastic. <laughs> I just have a blast with it. I don't know how many flights I've got on it now. I I have been bringing this plane out with me most flight sessions since I've gotten it. I have brought this plane out with me for most of my flight sessions and I try to put at least three or four battery packs to it. This is my fourth battery pack out here in this wind. And the second one um, that I filmed. Look at that. Look how stable that is. That's just fantastic. And unlike those brush motor and gearbox planes, this, this brushless power system should last for quite a long time. Quite a long time. Oh man, I've already had it in the air for six minutes. Okay, let's see if we can bring it around and land it. Uh, my wind is dropping off all of a sudden. When, right when I really need it. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Ah! Oh well. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? I don't know. All right. I would say this uh, Ishin Miss Helen 500 millimeter wingspan, sub 250 gram brushless warbird is strong wind, tested, and approved. I gotta put my stamp on it somewhere. Where's I gotta? On the bottom, I guess. I'll put my stamp on the bottom. All right, guys. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this plane. I have a lot of fun with most of my planes, but this one really, really stands out. You know, I can't stop flying it. It's it's that good. Um, like I said, links are in the show notes. The playlist is in the show notes. So if you if you want to really see this thing put through its paces in manual mode. Take a look at the playlist. Take a look at the playlist. It's an awesome movie. All right. That's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Tinker's Lab.